Hey guys, just talking about customizing your screen on your unit. Some people like to geek out on this, others don't care. Um, we try to make it our UI probably suit the average person from the start. Um, but if you do like to I'll actually geek out a little bit, there's a few things you can change. Um, you can tap and hold on the home screen here and you can delete other apps um, and add different apps you want to have on there. So for example, you might want to have your actual OBD2 app come up here uh, and something else you maybe uh, so like use all the time. Oh, no, the high definition app. So you can change all these uh, actual like apps. So obviously you have your three big ones down here, which will be your uh, so the main ones you use. And then you have your other six up here, which will be your secondary ones. So you can, you can actually change that. This widget here, um, you can come into settings, car entertainment, navigation, and you can change this. Now, not all things are gonna work or some things might work a bit a lot different. Um, so it just depends what you're using on there. And sometimes you need to reboot it to get that to work. Uh, let us see, that's that, okay, cool. There we go. So we've got the uh, dash cam coming through on the home screen now, um, just to show you that. Again, the home screen's main actually use is to, you can like, use your steering wheel controls. We do have actually like, video mode, so you can actually set one to come actually back to the home screen, and then you can quickly press where you want to go to like next. So you can go, oh, I want to go back home, and I want to go to my, uh, I don't know, my trans temp, or my tire pressure, or my dash camera. And then I want to go back to my CarPlay or Android Auto because Android Auto and CarPlay is probably where you're going to live 90% of the time. So that's basically that and that. Uh, and then we can, the only other thing you can really do that customizes a bit in the home screen is you can come into, sorry, not into there, into display and you can change the theme style. Um, it's just basically going to change your, like, sort of your actual like, color. Uh, and how it uh, looks and it's going to put all the apps back to default so you'll have to set them again those are really the two main things that you can change on the ui to customize it to suit you